but the critical is being able to, to contribute back again to the life of the dad. To, to give him a shoulder that time, to hand me a time. And I thank God for, for his being this morning. Yeah, and after, right. after, after whatever we're doing after this, yeah. the, the next voice you hear will be that of the Reverend Humble Franklin. Amen. 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 Like a ship that's tossed and filled up.
crowd that I thought was so hard, push it to the side. <laughs> right now, I give thanks and praise to Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Yes. The Lord brought me this opportunity. Yes. Turn with me, if you will, to the Gospel of course of St. Mark. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. The fourth chapter, starting at the 35th verse. The Gospel of course of St. Mark. Fourth chapter, starting at the thirty-fifth verse. It says, uh, "At the same day, when he was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side.'" When they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there rose a great storm of wind, and waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillar. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, can thou not that we perish? And he arose and reduced the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How did that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly. And say one to another, What manner of man is this? That even the wind and the sea will be. Amen. And one more word here from the Gospel according to, you know, I'll read the U.S. Gospel according to Matthew 14, chapter 27, words it says, But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, to desire. Be not afraid. Yes, sir. Going to the other side. Let me see. Trench, the writer Trench tells us that miracles were not designed just to awe us. But the miracles of Jesus were designed to identify him. That he was the Son of God. Amen. That's why he did the miracle. Amen. It was to say, who, can, who could do this? No ordinary man could open the eyesight of the blind. Amen. No, no. Raise the dead. Tell the, the crippled man to get up. So when we saw these miracles. He said, hey, this, this guy here, not, not an ordinary man, though he was full, fully man and fully God. He wasn't ordinary. That was the miracle said and tells us about Jesus Christ. I thank God for the Lord and I thank God for his miracles that opened up my understanding. And I read and study the word of God to identify Christ as the Son of God. Mark is the shorter gospel and it portrays Christ as a servant. Mark does not have the knowledge of Christ. No, Christ. It's a straightforward gospel. It's a gospel of deeds and not words. Straightforward. The 
us up in the crowd where we can have That's right. That's right. This time the storm came up and it shook the guys, the fellows, and the fishermen. They shook them up. Got to be prepared for these type of storms that come up. Amen. And they're going to come. Mm -hmm. Always storm with us. No one brought a storm. I don't know where you're at today, and how you're feeling today, and where Providence has brought you today. But every day will not be Sabbath. That's right. Every day will not be a good day if you're a child of God. Amen. Right. Amen. There's a storm that will come up in your life that will knock you off your feet. That's right. right. And you just got to get used to that. Oh, yeah. People got this gospel that they say health and wealth, kingdom blessings, <laughs> joy and peace. That was a good explanation. <laughs> but when you examine what Christ says about our walk, he said to deny yourself and take up your cross. And follow me. Mm -hmm. Christ said nothing about getting a kingdom blessing. I don't know what, what's kingdom blessing. <laughs> I don't know what that kingdom blessing is. <laughs> driving the Cadillacs and the Benjamins and all that stuff. <laughs> That's what Christ. Yeah. Christ mm -hmm. said uh, to deny yourself and take up your cross daily. Yes. And follow me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord says about this journey. The Lord says about this journey. Pick up your cross. Follow me. He says that, listen, foxes have holes and the birds have nests, but the Son of Man have no other day to live. Oh, yes. Now that, that gives me that health and wealth gospel right there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? Christ says, listen. I don't have the, the foxes and the birds are better off than me. I don't have anywhere to lay my head, but they got some better than my head. And when this rapper telling me about health and wealth, <laughs> where does it come from? It comes from the word of God. Word of God is that you say we got a cross. Oh yeah. We got to bear our cross daily. Amen. Mm -hmm. so, and that cross means to, to the extent of death. That's how far we have to go. That's how far. That's how far. Always our lives and motion. One end to the other end. Good sometimes, bad sometimes, better sometimes, worse sometimes. Always in this, your spiral that we go with the wheels of providence. Keep turning. And don't always let us go to the other side. Okay. The evening would come and the ship went away and then a great storm came up. That's what it said. It said there's also a great storm, a great storm. Not just a storm, but a great storm. And the wind beat into the ship and the ship was full. That means the ship was in the position it might say. They said that the ship was full. I don't know what procedure they had to enter the ship, but that was it. They wasn't doing it fast enough. Come on, Richard. <laughs> the ship was full. Like that. Notice, my brothers and sisters, the ship was full of water. The crack was sweeping. Huh. Mm -hmm. Ship was full of water. Christ was in the rear of the ship and he was sleeping. He was sleeping. Didn't disturb him, didn't, didn't shake him up, didn't wake He didn't wake up and the ship was full of water. And uh, Christ just kept sleeping. He 
just kept thinking. But when they saw the water that was filling the ship and thought the ship was going to sink, they became afraid. You know, sometimes something can come into your life and shake your little finger up. You think you got so great of faith. Shake you. Disturb you. Take away your little peace. Some storms coming out of lives like that. Oh, yeah. That's coming out of lives. And I had a problem. I panic. Mm -hmm. I, I get around them walking my face. <laughs> I get around them. My faith eventually kicks in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't listening. Mm -hmm. Not no, my faith kicks in. <laughs> but in the beginning, I'm panicking. Yeah. That's not my fault. Mm -hmm. That's not my fault. I have, I have great faith. Yeah. But if I immediately respond to certain things and I panic, I get worried. Yes. All kinds of stuff that's going to happen to me. All kinds of stuff going to happen to me. I get panicky. I get worried. I get fear. And I have to go through that process every time, especially if things happen to some people. That's, that's my reaction. You're not a Christian, Christian, that's my reaction. Uh -huh. right. uh -huh. I have to work my way through to get the faith. Then when I get the faith, everything is all right again. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, well, I have my, my days up there. I can't get on the I can't get I can't get on the I can't get on the But I know I will get there. <laughs> I know we'll get there if I just listen, if I just stay right there and take my time and breathe and mm -hmm. go through the process of scripture, I'm gonna get there. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm gonna get there. God oh, yeah. will calm me down. Yeah. God will calm me down. God will strengthen my heart. To yes, he will. Heart. Amen. Great storm came up. The boat, the ship was filled. It says, he, as he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. Like now let's pray for action to the throne. He just went to sleep. Christ was human. Mm -hmm. That human emotion, human fear. He went to sleep. He was asleep, and I guess the water was there. And he didn't get up. He didn't wake up. He just laid there in the water, I guess. And kept on sleeping. Amen. Contrast to the disciples, they became so afraid. And that's how we are. They panicked. See the hit The water came in. They saw themselves. Doubt always see yourself fail. Doubt come in your mind. Failure comes behind. Yes. The two greatest weapons of Satan is fear and doubt. That's his, that's his, that's his two greatest weapons. Fear and doubt. He put that big on you. You see yourself saying. They were there. He was sleeping in the ship, paid no attention to the storm. And I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. I might get panicking, but my God might panic. I might get worried, but my God not worried. That's right. I might see the glass half full. Yeah. <laughs> But my God is not worried. Yeah. Mm -hmm. my, God. my God is not worried yet. I don't care what you say. I mean, that guy ain't not going to make it, but God said, you made it. Mm -hmm. Now, I got to catch up with that. Faith will help me catch up with that. I don't know how far you going to go, but faith, if you just, the 
just shall live by faith. Uh -huh. If you do that stick, you're going to catch up with that. You panic. These fishermen. Been in storm before. All of a sudden, a greater storm came up, and they were not prepared for that storm. How are you prepared for a storm? I know we get the radio on the other. Take the boat out of house and under. Lift us up. Spirits of God. We ought to be always prepared for storms. But you do. You got to pray. Amen. You got to stay prayed up. You got to stay in the Word of God. Amen. You got to be willing to just stay with the Lord on your knees. Praying day in and day and night oh, yeah. for the storm. <laughs> Lord, keep me. Mm -hmm. I don't like to wait to pray. I want to pray before things happen. Oh, I, like yes. oh, yeah. I don't like to wait for the storm. I want to pray that God keep me in the storm before the storm mm -hmm. comes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get on my knees and try to figure out God. No, I always pray. Keep me in the sick day. I don't know when the sick day gonna come, but that's right. I want to be prepared. So far, you know, our sick day come, now we're gonna try to find, and I find the Bible. I used to go uh, to the hospital to visit people, and the first thing I would notice is a brand new Bible.
Thank God if God's up for all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My Lord. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. There was Jesus. Calm, collected. Yes, sir. Clothes wet. Sleeping in the water. They said, don't you care that he's telling me? <laughs> Lord, don't you care? Doesn't it matter to you that we might be dying? You sleeping and this ship full of water? Don't you care that we perish? You told us to go to the other side and now we got the ship and the water and the Satan and this and that. Don't you care? <laughs> He knows God sent Christ because he cares. Mm -hmm. That's it. We will set us on our way to a point in heaven. Oh, yes. Yes. And no one cared but God. That's it. That's it. God, on his own initiative, his own sovereign will, oh, yeah. in eternity, care. And in eternity, the Father and the Son created a covenant between them two. Yes. God said, well, the Son will do this, and I'll do this, the Son will do this, and I'll do this. He cared. Yes, Even he before did. Adam and Eve sinned, God cared. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But we ask God to think, do you care, God? <laughs> but God can stop caring and stop loving you. The storm missed it. That's right. The ship is sinking. But it's sinking for one purpose. It turns them to focus upon Christ and Christ alone. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Where are you at today? Where your heart at today? Where your mind at today? Mm -hmm. You ought to be on Christ and Christ alone. That's right. That's right. Yeah, they, they went to Christ and they went to him and called him, don't you care that we care? We're going we to die in this ship. Don't you care that we might die? Well, if Christ had been just an ordinary man, they would have been in their minds, see? They saw in Christ someone who had power. He wasn't an ordinary man. You don't go to another man and say, do you care? Right. No. They saw that Christ had power to deal with their situation. Mm -hmm. He had the power to deal with their situation. They were out of wits then. They were little yeah. fishing skills, little stone skills they had. All that stuff was gone. They were not going to Christ. And if Christ was just another man. Mm -hmm. No. They wouldn't go out there. Who can, listen, who can help them in the song? Oh, yes. Another man can go out to Christ because Christ has the power to help them. Amen. Amen. And one result, Jesus, don't you care that we perish? Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that the Lord loves us so. Oh, God. yes. Thank you, Lord. God loves you so. Amen. And God is always there. He never leaves us. But seeing that we all are alone, God is still there. Oh, God. yes. God is still there. We I guess he tested us to the fourth limits. God put us <laughs> out to the fourth limits to stretch our faith, mm -hmm. to stretch our trust. Mm -hmm. God is always doing that. There's always going to be a season. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But God's going to stretch your faith. That's right. It's yeah. coming. It may not be today, but you can bet it's coming. Yeah. You better be prepared for it. Start praying. Oh, Lord, yeah. keep me. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you when I see no one else can work it out. I'm like the disciples. I'm looking for Christ. 
Yeah, I want Christ to come because I have confidence. You can't fix it, but I have confidence because Christ is God. Mm -hmm. The Son of God. All power of heaven and earth is in his hand. Christ can fix everything for me. Nothing that he lacks. I thank God for that today. Thank you, Lord. Don't you care that he's carrying? But he told us what? Why should we? Why should we? Why should? Why should they run and say, "Listen, care not to repair"? He said, "Then I told you, keep this in mind." He said, "Let us go to what? The other side. Let us go to the other side." That's what Christ said. Let us go to the other side. Meaning that you're going to get to the other side. Because he said you're going to get it. Amen. Everything that God is in, he's not in it. You're going to get to the other side. And Christ got up, went and looked at the situation and sided up, and just said, Peace be still. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all this is. Christ has got up. No big thing that for God to worry about no storm. Yeah. Yeah. He may throw the storm. That's right. He died storm, the sin storm. Then to pray about the weather to go here and this and that. The storm that God had. Mm -hmm. Then he sent a storm to Jonah. Put that sin that storm after him. Yes, yes sir. Christ said storm. God controlled it. Christ said, Peace be still. I get to that point. That's what I told you. I get to that point, bro. When I get to that point, I'm a bad nigga. When I get to that point, that Jesus point, all of us are filled with trouble mind. I think I have faith strong like a mountain. When I get the news. My little faith that straight up. Mm -hmm. But Christ got up and said, Please be still. Christ do not disappoint. God does not disappoint you. When you put your faith, put your trust in Him, believe in Him, say, Yes, God, I know you can do it. I believe you're going to do it. Show me God will not disappoint you. No, He won't. Amen. Peace. Be still. Mm -hmm. That's God's word for you to say. Yes. Yes, sir. Peace, be still. Yeah. Be healed. Be delivered. Yeah. Be blessed. Yeah. Be helped. Yeah. Nothing to say. Wait a minute. Don't, don't listen. Turn it over to Jesus. Yes. Peace, be still. Yes. I'm just so glad that you know that. Because my suffering is coming to an end. Because Jesus will not put on me no more than I can bear. That's right. Peace. Be still. Listen. The storm sink. The waves calm down. And the wind stop blowing. Just by his word. Peace be still. Mm -hmm. It was a small thing to him. But storms are the drive us to God. When we look at time, we spend too much trouble worrying about how we feel. And sit and pray for the message that God has given us. Oh, yeah. That's why we're not benefited from our trials and from our tribulations. Mm -hmm. We spend too much time worrying about trials and tribulations saying, God, what are you teaching me? Oh, yes. What am I supposed to learn this time? Oh, yes. What was my understanding of God? That's right. You spent too much time worrying about getting well. Mm -hmm. Too much worrying about this thing and that thing. Yeah. But we should be asking God, what are you teaching me? What, what lesson is today in this trial? What oh, lesson yes. is today in this career? What lesson is today? Does God always bring us to a point to bring us to Christ? 
And he said, peace be still. Nothing Christ is saying in your life today. Peace be still. Yes. Whatever going to in your life today, whatever is trapping you up with this, whatever is robbing you of your joy, robbing you of your strength and your health, Christ said, peace be still. Yeah. And you know what happened? Everything calmed down. That's our God. That's our Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's our Lord. Lord. Say peace, be still. still. That's it today. That's the message today. Amen. That's God's word today. That's right. I believe in God. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. I believe that He came into this world to die. For us, yes. yes. for the elect. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm just so glad I'm part of the elect. Amen. Amen. Thank God for that. Yeah. He elected me. Uh, I don't know why. I can't find no reason for it. But I'm so glad that God is blessing me. Amen. I recommend to you, Jesus, today. He can come into your life today. <laughs> Doctor saying we can't do you any good. But Jesus Christ can change that situation for you today. That's right. right. Uh, That's right. Your God cares. Oh, yes, Your does. God cares about your sickness, about your trials, your tribulations, your burden. You don't have a job. You lost your job. You don't have this. You don't have that. Christ cares. Yes. Yes, He cares for you. How do I know He cares for me? When I go and look at Calvary, mm-hmm. how do I know He loves me? When I look at Calvary, how do He know? I know that the Lord, and that's it, the Lord will make a way. Oh yes, He I like will. That. I like that. Mm-hmm. The Lord will make a way somehow. Oh yes. Deep in the what? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That Jesus fixes for Oh, yes. He knows just what to do. That's mm-hmm. right. Whenever you pray, that's right. Come on. Let him have his way. Yes. That he'll fix it for you. Oh, yes, Thank he you, will. Thank you. Let us go to the other side. Oh, yes. yes. We leave in this old world, and we're going to the other side, and there's a great sea and ocean between us. And the old ship of Zion <laughs> had made a lot of voice to the other side. Don't have mercy. You know. We ain't gonna break our sin. You the land. Mm-hmm. God bless you. Amen. Bless Amen. You Is it well with my soul? 
Jesus Christ died and God wants to save you today. Amen. But it's your choice today. It's that we become today. God bless you. Amen. Amen.